Hello there again, minions! It's the wheeziest. Welcome back to the Black Ops 6 multiplayer beta. I've played... Can I see how much I've played? I've played a decent amount. I got max rank. I haven't played a ton. Busy weekend. Daughter at a soccer tournament. If I had to guess, I, I mean, I literally hit max rank gameplay-wise like 30 minutes to an hour ago, right? So it was just about an hour more than it takes just to get to max rank, which isn't super long. Figured I'd just kind of like play a little bit more and kind of talk about my thoughts so far. I've used some of the weapons. This is, I haven't really used uh, this bolt action sniper at all yet. Um, I've been playing with the SVD a little bit. But overall, my impressions of the beta so far are actually very positive. This shit ain't working. I'm really enjoying it. I think there's a lot of people laying on their bellies, which is a little irritating. Oh, I hit the rock. Um, not to, I think it's probably important to call out, even though it may sound a little goofy. My initial impressions were actually pretty accurate. Everyone's been cock riding the jackal. Um, like the, I wouldn't say there's a super strong SMG meta necessarily because there's only the two SMGs. The MP5 is good, but not great. The jackal is far and away the best weapon right now, although I haven't used it much. Um, I put it on for this because I hadn't used the bolt action or the jackal hardly at all. So I figured I'd throw them on for this kind of last video. This weekend of the beta actually ends here in a couple of hours as I record this. Oh, hey. But the gunplay feels absolutely amazing. The, uh, the maps are better than I kind of initially gave them credit for. Um, they're still mostly three-lane maps. They are a little bit more kind of confusing and circuitous than I would normally prefer from a map. Which does leave you checking a lot of different elevations. The stims are super... Strong tactical equipment. I know you're right here. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Can I? Oh, I got shot from the left. Um, the sniping, the controllability, like the, the slow handling of the snipers actually does a lot. To, like limit how powerful they can be that's I thought that was a little bit of rock in the way Woo! Um, yeah so I think the snipers are balanced pretty well right now in that they are kind of the one-hit kill weapons pretty consistently the SVD obviously not so much the bolt action more so <coughs> But they do have very slow handling, unlike the fucking super fast handling, like marksman rifles and stuff like the Car 98K in Modern Warfare 3. Movement. This, uh, I'm enjoying the perk system. I've only really kind of recently unlocked the enough perks to like get the full perk set bonuses and stuff. Although I think those add some interesting. Add some interesting dynamics to the game. I'll be, I'll be looking forward to seeing the full perk list. I don't like this spot. <laughs> oh no, enemy chopper! Be looking forward to seeing like what you can do with all the perks. So, going back to kind of a classic perk system. That guy. <laughs> Oh, I already got it. Uh, let's see. Let's use the AK for a minute here. Um, I'm enjoying the perk system so far. 
this make the, the the amount I love the gameplay, like I, the way that the gunplay feels, makes me wonder. Typically, I'm not a huge fan of classic prestige. I know a lot of people are, and it's a big deal that they're going back to that, like where you relock everything and unlock it again. I I would say notor notorious for myself, not necessarily notorious outside of this. In COD 4, I was very much a no prestiger. Used to give the no lifers a hard time for their 10 prestige gold crosses, and I was a five star. Whoa! Uh, just a five star the entire time in Modern Warfare. Or called COD 4, but I had all the gold weapons, that's where I put my time. Rather than relocking things over and over again. But, uh, the fact that Prestige is gonna allow you to keep your weapon progress, I think is really cool, because even though it'll relock things, once you, you know, unlock the AK again or whatever, you're not gonna have to go through and grind it to re-unlock all those attachments. Which I think will make it a lot less of a grind. It'll just it'll just be a way of kind of forcing you to not use the same meta weapons over and over again. This is Joker fella. Um, I'm definitely not looking forward to going back to skill-based matchmaking. I've already seen it's just the beta, right? So there's, it's a new game, there's a decent number of weapons to use, but already in my lobbies, I'm just seeing mostly people that are just using the, uh, the Jackal PDW. They're just riding the meta weapon as hard as they can. Well, like, what, who are you trying to, who are you trying to impress with your <laughs> only using the most consistent weapon in the game? I don't know. I hear you. So, I don't know. Everyone can play their, their own way, whatever. There's no right way to play, but... I don't understand the people that just, like, only use the best weapons. That doesn't... I don't know. So, Prestige, I think, would be fun to, like, go through and say, Okay, well, now I don't have a choice. Although, I'm usually... Anyway, I'm usually going through and... Ranking up all the guns, the way that I typically do it is, uh, I'll rank up my favorite guns first, the ones I enjoy most. I'll typically avoid the meta weapons just because I'm weird like that. And, uh, oh, emotes. Wait, wait, I got... Pew, 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 Uh, the final play, or the best play is cool. Like, I don't know. There's... This is definitely a lot better... Uh, than I was kind of anticipating it would be. Um, so, if they fix some things with, like, the weapon metas and stuff like that, which is always a trick in every game, right, to make it not a super strong meta. I do like that the slower time to kill in this game does make it feel like you can escape fights a little bit more consistently. Like, if you're... Um, getting beat, you can make it to cover. I remember... Was it Cold War that was like that? Where it didn't feel like you just got instantly melted? One of the things I'm not liking right now is the... With the new Omni movement, which I do like. It still feels like... Uh, and I, th I think it was Vanguard, I remember this, where it just feels very clunky right now on the controller where I'll be sprinting and it pops out of sprint a lot. Like, it's hard... For me on on my xbox controller to get that fluid smooth movement that i have like in modern warfare 3 right like even without the omni movement and i like i said i want to say it was vanguard that was like this for a little while too where it just it felt like i was trying fighting my character to move around oh let's run the shotgun here for a little bit shotguns are trash i say shotguns this one shotgun is trash. The range is abysmal. And the reload is slow. It's just not great. 
There is... Look at that. <laughs> that was an ADS shot to the face from not super far range. And, uh, no, no, no. Ah! Uh, I think a lot of the objective placements so far are like good. There's that's those security doors can be opened by that little crawl space that I've. Whoop! This is definitely one of those maps where I feel I feel like the maps are just okay. I feel like a lot of the maps have power positions, like the ability to for one side of the map to really just control the entire map without a lot of ability to defend against that. But, yeah, the maps are just okay so far. I know there's going to be, I think they said 16 maps at launch, which is awesome. Oh, that's not a tactical. I do have a assault rifle in my pocket. Good God! Skill-based matchmaking is still really heavily in effect. I get put into games with morons often. Let's see if I can. God damn! What is my team even doing down there? Fucking RC cars! <laughs> uh, the RC cars, if anything in this game, are underpowered. They're really slow and easy to kill. I think that's a good thing, because I don't think they'll be overused. Hey, I got a kill with a shotgun. Um... Guy, like watching in here. Good God. So yeah, overall. Oh, oh! I get killed around a corner a fair amount. Let's watch this. I get killed around corners a, a decent amount in this game. There's also oh, I need to call it out. There's also some very significant. I can't tell if it's lag, but it's like, it's literally feels like frame hitching and frame drops. Like, the game will literally freeze up sometimes, where you would normally experience like lag. The game will just straight up freeze, and then you'll, for like three seconds, four seconds, and then you'll just be somewhere else <laughs> in the map, and you'll be getting shot or you'll be dead. Like, it is the worst manifestation of lag. Look at that shotgun shit. Uh, the worst manifestation of lag I've ever seen. The counter UAVs are not nearly as easy to shoot down. Um, that's probably a good thing, because counter UAVs were essentially worthless with as easy as they were to shoot down. Um, they've definitely fixed that. Looks like that's a power point move. Uh, so yeah, there's just a whole lot, I think, that's really positive right now. Oof! That was some bad shooting from me. Woo! Uh, but yeah, overall I'd say my impressions are extremely positive to the point where... I am very much looking forward to this. Footstep audio in this game is fantastic. Like, it's really easy to place where the footsteps are, but without it feeling, like, ridiculous. Hardpoint active. Hardpoint locked down. Woo! Let's get down here. Dropping assault back. Let's go for a 
Who's that thing? Oh, they can come through there. Oh. No. <laughs> no! Come on. Come on. Alright. We're just gonna chill. I hear a guy behind me. Coming up. <laughs> Knew that range wasn't gonna cut it. Kind of a neat little feature where on this map you can go and like Wow. Wow, that guy was locked in on me. Let's see this. Where you can go and kind of like lift those shutters. What the random spray? Alright. I don't really like the stair head glitch uh, that you've got on this map. It's another one of those things that's just really irritating place for snipers to sit. And with a even moderately organized team, it's way too easy to just kind of have three or four people locking down choke points to just really make the whole map inaccessible. I don't know if you guys can see how chunky the movement is with my controller here. Like, I'm struggling, I'm like trying to tack sprint there and it's just like bringing me out of sprint. That's not me doing that. The game's just like, nah, you're not tack sprinting right now, bro. That was not a kill? Are you kidding me? Point blank with the shotgun. Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm not benefiting from the awesome new movement. Cause I keep- look at that, I just get pulled out of sprint. Like that, what is that? I'm sprinting and it's just like, ah, nah. Nope. Thanks bro. Oh, right as it moved. No, no, no. Repeat. Oh, I expected him to still be laying there. He was not. Wow! <laughs> Walked right into that. <laughs> oh, I threw that a little too far. I was aiming for right on this platform. I hear it coming. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, good, good directional audio for the footsteps. The, the footsteps and stuff for sure. Really great audio design. Uh, the movement on controllers is just so bad. Ah, uh, he's right there. I remember them. I remember the one. I can't remember exactly the game it was. I want to say it was Vanguard, but I remember them fixing it. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be a prop. What the fuck? It felt like those shots came from behind somehow. But look, look, I can't even fucking sprint. Smoke check. We've given up the lead. That jackal fucking kills so fast, and it's good at medium to long range too. Hey, bud. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> 
Oh, I took the lead. Yeah, look at that shit. I'm like trying to slide and it's like, oh, but I made you stop sprinting, so now you're just gonna crouch. They need it. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest problem I'm having with this game right now is. The jerky controls. How did those. How do I get shot through those counters, but I was shooting literally right where that guy was, just on the edge of the counter, and it didn't go through? Ugh, I think feels so fucking fast. Alright, fine. Hard point identified. Hard point identified. Hard point. God, look how slow the cycle rate is on that. I'm sure there'll be a, an attachment to speed that up, but fuck. Shotgun is so bad out of the box. Throw it. God, I can't even... Rent consistently. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Between the shotgun and three bullets from the AR? No kill? Alright. So yeah, I would say overall... Time to kill actually feels really good. The weapons feel really good. What the fuck? Sometimes... Sometimes the sliding is fucking weird. Sometimes I'll try to dive into cover and I'll end up flying over a box <laughs> and like off a ledge. Uh, but that's just getting used to the, how the movement works. But overall, yeah, I'd say overall, really enjoying it. Um, definitely some work to do, but it doesn't feel like a huge, like, oh my God, this they've got so much to fix. Oh man, that guy killed me twice in the same best play. The spawns are still a little shit, but uh, yeah, I'd say overall, definitely my impressions are very positive. I think, uh, I think this is shaping up to be a really good iteration. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to, to chunking through it. I know I said that I was like, man, I still enjoy playing Modern Warfare 3 a lot. Uh, and that's true, but I gotta say, this is this is definitely a game that I'm looking forward to playing and, and sinking some time into. And I'm not gonna feel bad uh, kind of stepping away from Modern Warfare 3 to play it. What do you guys think? Have you been playing it? If you haven't gotten into the early access beta, you'll get to play it next weekend in the open beta with everybody else. But if you've already been playing it, what do you think? What do you think from watching it? If you guys enjoyed watching me ramble about Call of Duty, you can leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy watching me insult people for using the jackal you can leave it a dislike <laughs> subscribe for the wheezy and this awesome menu music i'll see you guys in the next one